Ready for the start of revalidation in April 2016, we have built a nurse revalidation tool to simplify the whole process. So here is our nurse dashboard. It is the first version and may change in its look, but the principles will remain the same. We just want to add more guidance and advice. So the first thing to do when getting started with revalidation is to go ahead and record your working hours. So if you click on practice hours and then click add a new role, you'll be able to fill in all of your relevant details. If you're a member of a community that is also your employer, you can link to them which will pre-populate the organisation detail forms. Once you have filled in this information, click save and we will work out how many hours you have done in this revalidation cycle. Often this will be way above the minimum requirement of 450. And that's it, you're an eighth of the way there. The practice hours block will turn green so you know you have completed it. Next, you should make sure you're using our free learning diary to keep your CPD up to date. And if you have an iPhone, download our app so you can record information offline and on the go. Once you have reached the 35 hours minimum, this block will also go green. Next, you will need to record your feedback entries, and this can be anything from a patient survey, a colleague survey, thank you note, and more. Once you have five entries, this will also go green, and that will be complete. With all of these, you can click download, and it will pre-populate the actual NMC documents, so all of your revalidation documentation will be exactly as the NMC wants it. This will also be easily recognisable to your confirmer when they see your evidence. Next comes a slightly tricky part with the reflective discussion and the confirmation. With the reflective discussion, you will just need to outline the details of the person you are having the discussion with and then have the discussion about your reflective accounts with them. You can then type up the summary of the discussion into the form and then download the form and print it off. Once you have done this, you can get your reflector to sign it and then you can upload it back onto our website by scanning it in so you have an electronic copy as well as a paper one. You will need to do the same with your confirmer, and once this is done, your revalidation preparation will be complete. You can either leave this information online, or you can click on the pink box to download all of your forms in a pack so you can print it off or save it to your computer. With your revalidation evidence all sorted, you can then tick all the boxes on NMC Online with no worries that you are missing anything, and your revalidation will be complete.